Hi, welcome to Friendly Yours. Today's topic is really about um, the couple of methods that I use to try to stave off a full-blown panic attack um, while I'm still, you know, you, you, you know, you know, when your mind starts jumping from one topic to another. Um, for me, it, it just gets faster and faster between all the stuff that I'm responsible for at home. Um, I do have a part-time job. I've got four kids, so all of their activities, and there are days where it just feels like it's back to back to back, and there's no downtime to transition from one to the next, and that stresses me out. So, um, I mean, it gets it gets to the point where, you know, like I said, it, I bounce from one thing to the next to the next faster and faster and faster, and then my chest starts to hurt, and then I catch myself holding my breath and I've, I mean, I've given myself dizzy spells and oh my gosh, I've been holding my breath. That's why I feel dizzy right now. So it was at that point that I really needed to figure out how I can curb it before it gets to that point. Because then eventually what gets to the point is I become a lump on the couch and then I don't want to do anything. That only feeds the, the anxiety and the panic even more because then I'm not doing anything. Um, so there has to be a way for me to try to nip it in the bud as best I can. I mean, yeah, I've still had some panic attacks where I couldn't get it under control, um, but it certainly has helped. Um, so one of the, the first thing that, I have basically two things that I do. The first thing that I do, and it's nothing really new, <laughs> so you, there might be out people out there who are already using this technique, um, and it's basically deep breathing. So you breathe in through your nose, blow it out through your mouth. Now I try to hold the breath in for three seconds and then blow it out and try to really feel my, no my shoulders coming from underneath my ears and down to a normal position. And when you take the deep breath, you need to make sure you're using your tummy. So if your chest is going up, then then you're not doing it right. So you need to breathe in through your with your stomach, hold it for about three seconds, and then blow it out through your mouth. Do this about two to three times. You 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 will feel your body start to relax. It will give your mind a chance to calm itself, almost like a reset button, um, sort of thing. Now. <laughs> I had heard of it before, and to be honest, I never used it because I kind of thought that it might be kind of a bunch of bunk. <laughs> uh, but my therapist uh, made me promise to try it and to practice it, and that was one thing I hadn't. I was. I think that's the part that had me bulking at doing it is the having to practice. But <clears throat> after the couple of attacks where I you know, felt myself holding my breath and feeling dizzy, I knew that. I needed to do what she said and give it a try. So every morning I, I was I sit and I practice and to do that I do it two or three times every morning or whenever I think about it. Maybe I'm sitting at the school parking lot waiting for the kids to finish up with their after school activities and then I can practice it there. Well, I'm sure what's going through your mind it is because what went through my mind before I did this is well it's breathing. Why do I need to practice that? The reason why you need to practice it is just like an EMT runs through practice drills so that they know what to do in an emergency situation when it's actually happening, you need to, your body needs to already know what to do when it starts feeling like it's coming underneath a panic attack. Um, and I can testify that the practicing really does help um, because that's, that's an automatic go-to now. So. Um, I really highly recommend giving the deep breathing a try if you haven't already. Um, and the other thing that has really helped me is something that I kind of stumbled on my on my own. Now it might already exist out there too, but it was just something that I found was calming to myself and maybe this will help you if you've never heard of it. Um, I call it environmental active listening. When I really start feeling myself becoming overwhelmed, first I'll do the, the deep breathing and then I will sit and I will close my eyes 
and I will listen to the sounds around my house. Like right now, you probably can hear my dish, my, my wash machine, my, my laundry machine. Um, but I'll close my eyes and the idea is to listen for sounds in your house and then you need to identify them. So I have my eyes closed. Okay. That's the, the laundry machine. And then, oh, okay. I, I heard the furnace kick on or the ice just fell from the ice maker in the freezer. Um, identify a bird singing outside. Maybe it's the laughter of your kids in another room or outside playing. I have found that if I give my brain something else to do, the identifying of the sounds, it breaks that cycle of hopping from the to-do list from one thing to the next, giving me time to calm down and, and being able to put my thoughts in a more uh, coherent order um, and calm down. I don't know why it works, but it works for me. And I'm really hoping that you give that a try. Uh, you know, like I said, it gives your brain something else to do rather than focusing on that, that cycle. Um, Okay, so let me know. I mean, you probably have coping mechanisms out there that help you get out of that panicky state or try to curb a full-blown panic and attack. So if you might leave those for me in, in the comments and share to the rest of our viewers out there, that would be great. So again, this is Friendly Yours. Be nice to yourself. Um, you are loved and needed, and you are a valuable person. Thank you for watching.